well, you know what? I'll keep that. I'll just keep that treasured uh, knowledge with me forever. Keep forever. it, keep it inside your brain that like, if everyone else dumps you, I'm still here. Yeah, we can, <laughs> uh, we can do a project together. Look, uh, you know, this may come as news to you guys, but uh, I got a, a 14 year old daughter and she seems to think the emo is coming around these days. Yeah. Yeah. She said that, uh, that a lot of kids these days are going with emo styles. So I don't know what that means for the music that they listen to, but uh, the scene hair well, seems to be coming I back. I think a lot of that has to do with fucking Billie Eilish and her whisper singing. That yeah, could be. Yeah, that could I very think, well uh, be. It's, it's like emo rap and emo pop. And I think, yeah. uh, I don't, I don't think that there are like bands like Fall Out Boy in this wave of emo. Mm-mm. I think the close, oh, I mean, Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, uh, the uh, 21 Pilots, the, the emo kids are really listening to 21 Pilots. Are we just going uh, through the Fueled by Ramen uh, artist lineup right now? <laughs> oh, yeah. Did I become uh, an emo kid and not even know it? My favorite emo band. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Academy is I'm waiting Paramore. for the Cobra Starship reunion. That's what Ooh. I'm waiting for. God, those good girls want to go a, back. A mix. I had a mix in college. It was the the party mix, 2012, and it was literally just the first two Cobra Starship albums <laughs> with the bonus tracks <laughs> in order. <laughs> and I put it on at parties, and it would take people a little bit because it like it starts with like kind of a popular song, and like you know, and then it's just like, yo, we have listened to twelve Cobra Starship tracks in a row at this party, <laughs> and like. I've tricked people into listening to quite a lot of Cobra Starship. Hell yeah. <laughs> I used to just trick people into listening to the fucking uh, Snakes on a Plane soundtrack, which was, I'm pretty sure, oh, put yeah. together by Gabe Supporta. So, you know, yeah. it's just the Academy is featuring different people from Field by Ramen. Actually, Cobra Starship only exists because of that movie. <laughs> uh, Gabe uh, Midtown was commissioned at the very last days of their existence to make a song for the Snakes on a Plane movie. And they said, no, instead we are breaking up. And then they were like, all right, Gabe, just write it yourself. We'll give you a bassist and <laughs> keyboardist and just fucking go at it. So the only reason Cobra Starship exists at all was to make that soundtrack. That's perfect. What a That's good. weird what a weird piece of knowledge. <laughs> I love it. Honestly. I'm really into Cobra Starship. <laughs> Apparently, I've never seen Snakes yeah. on a Plane. <laughs> I haven't either. I've just watched the fucking music video for the fucking Cobra Starship song featuring fucking uh, Travis McCoy, uh, the chick from Isn't it uh, Trevi. Whatever. What the get fuck it, ever. It right, <laughs> well, it depends on which generation okay. of Travis and or Trevi you are referring to. Okay, you're right. Because when Is he released really his solo difference? shit. He was Travis McCoy. Okay. But during gym class heroes time, it was Travi Got McCoy. It. Okay. I don't, I don't oh, fucking know. Oh, I know that band. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was late to the punch on this kind of stuff. Hey, Steve. <laughs> what happened? What'd you do this week? How much time do we got? Uh, It was a wild. We got like 20 week, minutes-ish. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, we can make that work. Yeah. Um, mostly my week has been dominated by homework and my new dog, my new used dog nearly dying. Um, so <laughs> uh, Poor a week and a half ago, well, we got this dog like maybe three weeks ago now. And uh, like a week and a half ago, he got fixed. Um, he a couple days later got real excited, was jumping around and apparently ruptured an artery that... Oh. Uh, you know, so he had massive internal bleeding. Um, he ended up having to have emergency surgery. His life has been spared. He's doing okay now. He's just on a lot of drugs and wearing a cone of shame. Um, that sounds like a good Thanksgiving to me. It was it was helpful to him today. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we we're shredding turkey up for our sandwiches this morning. And somehow Vince <laughs> flung a piece of turkey out and it went right in the dog's cone. I put too much force on it and it fucking <laughs> flew out of my fingers and directly That's into a, his cone. What kind of force you put on this turkey? <laughs> <laughs> Enough Why to shred it. I'm just that much trying, force. You know, I was just thinking a lot about waking the cadaver and shredding wheat. And, you know, I I had to fucking shred that turkey. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty just sure. Shred. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, turkey takes a lot less power to shred than wheat 
Shred did did. Yeah, probably. Shred did. did. Ooh, I also made a Thanksgiving dinner. That was cool. Hell yeah. I saw my brother. I don't see him very often. Hell yeah. He was like, hey, uh, my work gave me a turkey. Um, they won't fit in my microwave, so I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Does Tyler only cook things in the microwave? I think that's given him a lot of credit. No, I think he makes tacos. <laughs> in the microwave? <laughs> Maybe. I don't fucking know. No, probably not. I think, I think he, has he makes tacos. Uh, <laughs> well, he just he's... microwavable taco meat. You know, he's just a Ugh. single guy living his best life. He don't, yeah, whatever. He don't need to cook for nobody. John Mellencamp. I'm not 20- judging. I don't cook at all. John <laughs> Mellencamp 2020. I'm talking about single life uh, <laughs> and <laughs> heating up taco meat in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I don't yeah. know what he w- was going to do. It was an 18 pound turkey. Good lord. It was huge. I didn't, I cooked half of it. I put the other half in the freezer because. It was a lot of turkey. Wait, uh, wait. So did turkey. you just cut it in half? Well, I I separated it all out: two breasts and two oh, legs okay. and all that. So I have a breast and a leg quarter still in the freezer. Uh, yeah. So that I mean that's my week. I fucking been doing homework. I was doing homework in the parking lot of the emergency vet. <laughs> Good lord! Um, you did you go to the one just right up here? Uh, the animal clinic, mm-hmm. Northview. You wrote yeah. all your equations oh, okay. on the skin yeah. of the turkey. Skin of the turkey. I did. I made. Uh, I made some differential equations. Uh, turkey. I'm just kidding. I, I'm. I'm not taking a math class. You did currently. make a fucking Excel spreadsheet on how to cook your fucking Thanksgiving. Oh dinner. yeah, I just made a, a timeline, a schedule. <laughs> you know, from two o'clock to six o'clock. Here's all the steps I got to take to have Thanksgiving dinner done. You know, you I like being organized. Freak. You organizational freak. Um, it worked. <laughs> Everything was clear, behind schedule. I'm just quoting you. You <laughs> called yourself a freak. <laughs> In case, uh, yeah, it, it worked out. Everything was behind schedule, but I had a plan, and dinner was on the table at ten after six. Hell yeah! So it's good. We ate about the same time. Maybe Very a little nice. bit later, but yeah. And uh, I still had a frozen bird that morning. That's cray. Oh wow! Know. Yeah, it wasn't like totally frozen. It had been in my fucking fridge for like a week, but it was my garage fridge, so it was fucking cold still. Mm. I had I cut my turkey in half, like literally. I cut the fucking backbone out of it, which normally I can't do because it fucks me up. <laughs> I just I can't cause bodily harm to a fucking bird, a dead bird. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. The more the more bones and sinew that you see, the more you're like, I am just tearing yeah. apart this living creature. It was rough. This p- SX living creature. It's not living <laughs> any. Like, I hopefully, hopefully, no one was doing this to live turkeys this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucked. I mean, they'd be outrageously fresh. Imagine, like, never freezing the turkey. You just, boom, boom right to the table. Hell yeah. Well, that sounds like but, a great idea. I mean, I'm not going to do it. Cut no. the backbone out of a living turkey. Look, I have a hard enough time with it when it doesn't have a face. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I uh, I cut the backbone out of it. Uh, and then I cut, I cut through the... Well, I tried to cut through the fucking breastbone. It's a... That's Serious not easy, bone. so I just had to cut around the breastbone, so it wasn't too bad. But then the wife grew, or, uh, sorry, we cleaned it all up, and then we did a dry brine on it, so Excellent. we just fucking covered that motherfucker in salt, and just let it sit <laughs> for a while. I don't think it was like an hour we let it sit. Then we wiped all the fucking salt off, we seasoned it, and the wife roasted half of it, and I grilled half of it. And they which, both turned out fucking banging. Which one was better? Um, they were both right about even. Okay. We discussed it, and we're very honest with each other when it comes to food. And uh, yeah, it's they important were both, to have food honesty. Yeah, I mean, we both went to culinary school, so you know, we both kind of know what the fuck we're doing. <clears throat> Sorry, we both dropped out of culinary school. <laughs> so we both kind of know what we're doing. So you're telling me that it's you okay. did, that you didn't uh, do the spine rip. Uh, oh. oh hello oh that was bad what was that then, i don't know what was that i don't know did That's you funny. hear it on your end 
Yeah, I did. Just that was so boom. loud. That hurt. I have no um, idea what that was. I don't know. I hope was it, really, it definitely picked up. Confusing. Uh, but I don't yeah, know what did that you? Was. You didn't do the spine rip from Mortal, from Mortal Kombat. No, you didn't walk up to it, forward, down, forward, high punch. Rip the spine. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> nope. But I definitely decided that I need a cleaver. <clears throat> yeah, I think so too. I just want a fucking big you ass cleaver. Cutco. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I mean, they're great knives, but I'm not paying that much for they're a fucking cutco knife. Knives. And it's the only knife you're ever going to need. Hold on, hold life. on, Wes. Are you trying to sell us cutco knives on our own podcast? <laughs> no, I'm obviously not trying to sell them. I used to sell them, and now I just have a, a literal shit ton of them. I used to and sell I them, them too for everything. If you if you want to get I, uh, rid of one knife, I will take a knife. I'm not. I'm not giving them away. No, no. I'm not no. selling them either. Go oh. get your own fucking cut cut. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit up Vector Marketing. So they really yeah. are that good. You there won't even give them away. Definitely a 17 year old out there who would 100 <laughs> percent give you the best deal on a kitchen you're right. knife. Yes, you're right. <laughs> and it has a forever warranty. Yeah. Damn. So wait, are they really All that good? Is pay for shipping. They'll send you a new knife if you fuck it up enough. Yeah. Are they really that good? Yeah, they're fucking they're, killer. They're fucking amazing. You can cut pennies with the scissors. Yeah, I cut the pennies into corkscrews at parties, and I open people's wine with it. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty wild. Can you imagine, like, 21-year-old me, like, absolutely shit plastered at a college party, <laughs> being like, no, no, you guys got to see this night. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody's even drinking wine you're cutting pennies <laughs> we're drinking wine now <laughs> you weld a few of them anybody got some wine yeah i, I mean will, I will my mom's got this bottle in the kitchen i will open your wine bottle with this dirty penny and we're gonna <laughs> fucking have a lot of fun so did right? you sell a lot, I mean, of, a lot of people they would carry things? around like fruit with them or like vegetables to like see how quickly i can cut this with this knife <laughs> i just carry around a bunch of alcohol and <laughs> just be like <laughs> that's not what i use these knives just for. fucking sabering bottles of fucking champagne open but with a fucking paring knife <laughs> match julienning uh fucking rutabaga <laughs> we call it a kitchen knife because it doesn't have one purpose it's all purpose it's, all it's purpose. for anything I you need in the cut, kitchen i've literally uh seen people cut down trees with them because okay so uh you know part of the shtick is like oh you know uh, like they show you like you know chopping a bunch of stuff and this guy he calls you know the corporate office and he's like okay so i got this knife like a week ago and i already need a replacement and they were like well what did you do to it and there he was just like well i cut down the tree in my front yard and now the <laughs> knife is dull <laughs> it is like oh god and it didn't void warranty he sent that knife in and we gave him a new fucking knife. Hell yeah. Wow. So were you I hope successful? he didn't cut down another tree, but I, I mean, I didn't work there that long. So. <laughs> 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 just, just running a fucking tree cutting business. But just, Literally, my boss gets knife. a call that's just like, yeah, this dude tried to cut down a fucking tree and now he wants a new knife. And it's just like all of us were just sort of like, what? Like, yeah, give it to him. He wants the free knife. Just give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> that's fabulous i'm really into that maybe i should get a cut co knife the world of retail is just absolutely bonkers you, you got to please the customer at all times <clears throat> at all times well uh did you uh did you have a good thanksgiving did you do anything for thanksgiving wes yeah yeah i uh i sat in my house and uh i was the errand person for uh kp and Haley, they were they were the ones actually cooking my roomies and uh i just you know i went to get trash bags for them you know to help clean a couple of things they just tore the kitchen apart for a day and just made everything just everything that you could possibly want in a thanksgiving feast and uh we're still eating it. Uh, I, th I think I'm on like my fifth or sixth <laughs> meal of just like turkey, taters, and <laughs> stuffing. And I don't even mind. It's great. No, that's like the one thing that I don't get sick of. It's turkey? Yeah. Well, just Thanksgiving turkey. Otherwise, you know, I'm not going to eat turkey. It's like the one time I do eat turkey. <laughs> Well, uh, do you do you have like a Bye, Devin. a favorite Thanksgiving thing? Like the thing you have to have or it's not really Thanksgiving? 
Oh, mashed potatoes, hands down. Okay. 